today in this video I am going to explain you very nicely that how a motor can be controlled through VFD. Like you can see this push button here. If I press this push button motor is started and when I press stop push button motor stops. As you know friends that this three phase induction motor we have here to turn on and off this induction motor and along with this to control the speed of motor we use VFD. You can see here in this VFD above here two terminals are provided L and N. I connected phase supply and neutral supply on these terminals. This VFD made by CNC company converts single phase into three phase. This is why I connected single phase power supply here. After this if you look into this VFD then you will find UVW three terminals here. On these three terminals power cable of motor is to be connected. This is my motor cable so I connected this on these three terminals. So power wiring for any VFD is only this much. Now before explaining you control wiring I am removing this wire so that I can explain you in a delightful manner. So I am opening all these wires. Now we have to do the control wiring of this VFD. For control wiring there are always two options. First is two wire controlling and second is three wire controlling. How to do two wire controlling I already made a video on this so we are not going to discuss this now. If you want to learn two wire controlling of VFD then I will provide the link in description. On clicking the link you can watch the video. For now we will do three wire controlling of VFD. In this control terminal of VFD if you look carefully here then you will find a ground terminal here. In some of the VFDs you will find zero volt terminal so on this terminal you have to connect one wire. For now I am taking this yellow wire and with this ground terminal I am connecting this wire. Through this ground terminal we get zero volt signal for controlling. We connected yellow wire here so take other end of wire and to this push button here we have to provide incoming power supply to this. So what I will do is to this start push button I am providing incoming power supply. With the same terminal I am connecting one more wire by looping a wire with this terminal to this stop push button also we will provide zero volt signal. Now if I press start push button then this motor here must turn on. For this this blue wire here I am connecting this wire with output terminal of start push button. So I connected this wire with output terminal. Now other end of this blue wire take this end and to the control terminal of VFD. In this you can see DI1, DI2, DI3, DI4 these type of terminals. So take the wire coming from start push button and with DI1 terminal you have to connect this wire. So I connected this wire here. Now by pressing the stop push button we have to turn off the motor. So what we will do is we will connect one wire with output terminal of this stop push button. This brown wire I have take this wire and to this stop push button at output terminal connect this wire in this way. Now take other end of this wire and with DI2 terminal of VFD with this terminal you have to connect this wire. So I did the connection here. In any of the VFD for control wiring with this ground terminal you have to connect one wire and to the push button provide input signal. When you press this push button then output signal which comes from here will be given to DI1, DI2, DI3 with this type of terminal you have to do the connection. Now we only have to tell this VFD that the control terminal we used on these terminals when any signal comes then in this condition this VFD here what this VFD should do. Start the motor, stop the motor, run in forward, run in reverse this type of programming we have to do. Through this VFD to run the motor all the basic parameters which are to be programmed here I already did this. For now we only have to program that both these push buttons here. If I press this push button then this VFD turn on this motor. What I have to do here this program button here we have to press this program button first. After pressing this P0 is displayed on screen. Go into this P0 programming and here you have to select P02. In P02 programming through this VFD to turn on and off a motor you want to use these buttons or you want to use this control terminal. If you select 0 here then in this condition these two buttons here through these buttons we can turn on and off this VFD. After this if you select 1 here then in this condition through this control terminal we can control this VFD. So I selected 1 here. After this if I press this start push button then in this condition what signal must go to VFD we have to do the programming of this. As you can see wire connected to this push button is connected here at DI1 terminal. 
di1 terminal of this vfd is digital input so we have to do the programming of digital input so we have to go to programming of digital input digital input programming is in p4 we will go to p4 and here we have to select p400 di1 programming is in p400 after this we have to select which operation is to be performed by this like if you select one in this vfd then motor will run in forward if you select two here then motor will rotate in reverse similarly there are different programming for now we have to run this motor in forward direction so we will select one here after selecting one press the enter button after this this di2 terminal will be used to stop the motor in this condition this di2 terminal will be used for three wire controlling what we will do here p401 it means go to the di2 programming and there we will do programming of three wire control three wire programming is in 03 so i selected here 03 i am saving this now after this you have to go to p411 programming i am selecting here p411 p411 programming is how you want to operate this vfd i mean in this programming you have programmed that whether you want two wire controlling or three wire if you want two wire controlling then you have to select here zero and when you select three wire controlling then you have to select two here so i selected two here and after saving this programming i am coming out by three wire controlling to run this vfd only this much programming is required now if i press this start push button you can see here motor is running in forward direction you can see here rpm of motor also if i rotate this to lower the rpm then you can see rpm of motor or speed is decreased you can see okay let's run this in full speed again now i want to stop this motor so simply press stop push button you can see here motor turned off so friends through this video we learned three wire controlling of vfd i hope you like this video if you like this video give like on my video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video